Hi everyone, my name is Coach Motherall and I am the head women's volleyball coach at Messiah College. And we wanted to put together a video for those of you who are interested in our program or who are maybe just curious about what it's like to be a student athlete at Messiah. And so my current players answered a series of questions and we just hope they're informative for you and helpful as you kind of navigate the recruiting process. And if you have any further questions or want to follow up with me, you can send me an email at hmotherall at messiah.edu. But yeah, thanks for taking the time to watch this and have a great day. Hi guys, my name is Kristen and I'm a junior athletic training major from Charlotte, North Carolina. So why did I choose Messiah? I transferred to Messiah last fall and I was originally at a school in South Carolina majoring in biology and playing volleyball. And I decided that I really wanted to pursue athletic training and I saw that Messiah offered athletic training as a major. And so I came on a visit to Messiah and stayed overnight with Amanda Dahlman, shout out to her, and loved the team. Uh, they had a lot of fun together, they loved playing with one another and spending time with one another and I really just sensed that there is a great community um, that they had at Messiah and I really valued the fact that not only could you play volleyball with a bunch of great friends but also grow closer to one another off the court and pursue the Lord together which is something that I didn't have at the school that I was at and so that's why I chose Messiah and if I could describe my experience at Messiah in one word I would say welcoming. Hi I'm Logan Wolf. I'm a middle on the team, I'm a rising junior, and I'm from Oxford, Pennsylvania. And I'm a biology major with secondary education. So apart from volleyball, what's my favorite thing about Messiah? My favorite thing is definitely the professors and the staff that you get to work with. Um, like most small colleges, the professors get to know you by name, and they get to know a little bit about you. But at Messiah, they go above and beyond, and they get to know the real you, and what you care about, and what you're um, goals are for you as a person. Um, you'll find that a lot of professors will ask us about our games and how the season's going, but they'll also ask you what your plans are for certain breaks and what you're doing over the summer, and they'll help you get to what you actually want to do. It's really nice to see that they actually care about you as a person and more than your performance in the classroom. If I could describe my experience in one word, it would be loving. Hello, my name is Natalie Marsh. I'm from Glen Burnie, Maryland. I will be a junior in the fall hit outside, my major's athletic training, and the question I'll be answering today is, what is it like to live in the dorms? Your first year, you'll be in Noggle, most likely, and how they set it up is like there's rooms down the hallway, obviously, and then there's a, like a living room area and um, a bathroom that's shared in the middle of the floor. And each floor has an RA who kind of like sets the theme for the floor and decorates it and makes it homey. They also host events like almost weekly uh, just to kind of cultivate a community on the floor and help you make friendships and create relationships on your floor. And yeah. So if I could describe my Messiah College experience in one word, it definitely would be community. Um, in volleyball and outside volleyball, like in school and my uh, clubs that I'm involved in and everything like that it is not hard to find a group of people who care about you and like want to take care of you and help you in any way that they can like Messiah has a very supportive community of students and faculty I just really really try not to take for granted the things that um, the people do for each other there it's really important to me and I hope that um, it will be that way for you too wherever you end up going but yeah hey there my name's hannah berger and i'm a junior right side from virginia and my major is public relations and the first thing i want to talk about with you is our dining options on campus and we have so many different dining options it's really great and my first and favorite is lottie nelson dining hall and this is a great place for breakfast lunch or dinner um, they provide so many different options. You can look up their weekly menu online to see what they'll be offering as their main courses. So that's really convenient. And they have a dessert bar, ice cream, a salad bar, a Southwest bar. So there's tons of different options. And they also have dairy-free options, gluten-free options. So it's really great. Um, and there's like a big selection to choose from. 
And then there's uh, the Union Cafe, and this is a great place to hang out with friends, socialize, or even find a booth to study. And they also have um, online ordering, which is really convenient if you're in a rush somewhere. You can just order from your phone on campus and pick your food up um, as kind of a grab-and-go option. And they also have um, fountain drinks and a little bit different menu from Lottie Nelson. They have burgers, pizza, chicken sandwiches, chicken tenders, avocado toast, which is really good. <laughs> and then um, we also have the Falcon, which is another dining option. And they also have online ordering as well. And this is located in the Eisenhower building. So it's a great place in between classes if you're in a rush to just order from your phone and grab food that you need. They also have um, quick pickup items too, um, refrigerated or things like chips and sandwiches made to go. So that's another great option. And then we also have Cafe Diem, which is located in the library, and you can grab coffees, lattes, anything like that there for a nice study break. And then the second thing I want to talk to you guys about is um, work study positions on campus. So can you as a student get a job on campus and get paid for it? Absolutely. And I've worked several work study positions myself. So my freshman year, um, I came in Lottie Nelson Dining Hall every couple days and I would like clean the floors and I would get paid for it. So there's like tons of different janitorial cleaning options. You can clean bathrooms, different buildings. There's always those options that are open. And then this year, I'm in a little bit of a different work-study position. I work in the admissions office as a public relations assistant. And so this um, position is actually really nice because it's direct application of what I'm learning. So they also have um, a lot of options on campus that you can directly apply what you're learning and potentially get paid for it. So keep your eye out for those. Um, they typically list what jobs are open on the Messiah website so you as a student can find what best suits you and get paid for it. If I had to describe my experience at Messiah in one word, I would definitely say growth just because um, the person who I was coming in as a freshman compared to who I am now as a junior feels completely different and that's um, just because of the people you surround yourself with at Messiah and the little things you experience and the memories you make with so many different people um, are just really incredible and they teach you a lot of lessons both good and bad and they just shape you, challenge you, make you grow as a person and one day you reflect back and you're like wow I really have come a long way and um, spiritually, physically, emotionally, mentally, every aspect you just feel like you really grow at Messiah. Hi I'm Peyton Manwaring. I'm a junior middle hitter um, from Mechanicsburg and my major is applied health science with a concentration in exercise science. Um, a typical day in season varies almost every day like whether or not we have a game, home game, or an away game, or we have practice. Um, but a day with practice, usually you just go to class in the morning, um, and then we have practice in the afternoon. Um, we watch 30 minutes of film before practice, either watching ourselves or watching the other team that we're gonna play the next day. Um, and then, yeah, we practice, and then we usually all go to dinner together, like say, we're gonna go do homework here or whatever. And then um, a game day, a home game day, those are fun. Um, we get dinner together in the union um, before the game. And then we go to the locker room, have a team Devo. We always have like a guest speaker come. And then um, away games are fun too, but we get to usually, sometimes like conflicts with class where you have to like let your professor know that like you're gonna miss class or um, it doesn't and that's nice so you don't have to miss class um and then we usually take we always take vans or a bus depending on the distance we usually have the same bus driver mike finnegan great guy um and then after the games um people like for it's a home game people will usually say where they're gonna go do homework and um we might all go, go do homework somewhere together or away games everybody's either gonna sleep on the way back home or some people do homework but yeah, that's a typical day in the life and season. It changes every day, but it keeps it interesting, you know? Um, yeah, thanks. And if I could describe my experience at Messiah in one word, it would be growth. Um, I've grown so much at Messiah, like 
in the most positive way possible. Um, coming in, I looked like a completely different person, spiritually, socially, mentally, like all of it. Um, so yeah, I've grown a lot like in the classroom as a student, I've grown a lot in my relationships with other people and relationships with um, girls on the team, coach, friendships outside the team. Um, yeah, I've just grown a lot, so. And I think Masai is a really conducive place for growth, like spiritually, in all aspects, honestly, like, yeah, growth. Hi, my name is Melina. I'm a first year from Maryland. I'm a DS and a communications major. So my question was, is it hard to balance school volleyball and social life? And I would say that initially, yes, because you have to go from everything that's comfortable to you, living at home, um, going to school from like seven to three every day and then playing like high school level volleyball, high school and club level volleyball. So that initial adjustment, yeah, I think that it's hard to be able to balance everything just because everything's so new to you. But once you adjust and making sure that you're um, communicating with just all your professors and um, everything, I think that it can be a lot easier to manage. It's just really important to making sure that you're staying proactive and um, not procrastinating your work, just making sure that, you know, if you get that chunk of time to be able to complete an assignment, you're taking it. And then for social life, I would say in season, it can be somewhat challenging just because um, we do have a lot of tournaments that we're going to on weekends. And then because we have practice every day and matches multiple times a week, it can be somewhat challenging to have a social life, I guess. But you're meeting tons of people in, in your dorms and your in your classes and you're able to like have lunch with them, maybe like hang out with them it just you might not be able to do it as much as you would be able to when we're outside of season because outside of season since we are division three school there's not as many time constraints so you will be able to get to hang out with those people but it just is harder to do in season um and then my other question if you could describe your messiah experience in one word i would totally say community um everybody at messiah in general just seems like they want what's best for you and i know especially with our team i could go to any one of them if i was struggling with anything and they would totally be willing to help me or if i needed like help on an assignment i could go to them or i could go to like the student success center and say like hey i need help with this and like anybody would be willing to help you and um, professors are super open and welcoming. So yeah, Messiah is just totally like a community. Hi, so my name is Katie and I'm a junior setter from Massachusetts and my major is human development and family science. So what are some ways to grow in your faith at Messiah as well as on the volleyball team? So on Monday nights, there's something called Fellowship of Christian Athletes where we're able to come together, play games, and then dive into God's word. And then on Thursdays, there's something called Powerhouse, which is an hour of student-led worship. And then Sundays is Team Devos, where we're able to share our testimonies, as well as um, worship together, pray together, and do a Bible study together. And then on Tuesdays and Thursdays, there's chapel opportunities, and one of them is called AROMA, which stands for A Revolution of Missional Athletes. AROMA also offers international as well as local ministry opportunities and every once every four years our volleyball team gets to go on a mission trip so last um, spring break we went to Tenerife Spain for sports ministry mission trip but my favorite way to grow in my relationship with God at Messiah has been through um, getting to know other people who also want to pursue the Lord and then being able to do it together alongside each other so I highly recommend it okay bye in one word, I would describe my experience at Messiah as life-changing. Hi, everyone. Um, my name is Rachel Rashford. I'm from Gates Rig, Maryland. I'm a freshman setter on the Sign Women's Volleyball team, and I'm a mechanical engineering major. So my question that I'm answering for you guys 
is what are some of the most popular majors at Messiah and which major did you pick? So two of the most popular majors at Messiah are probably nursing and engineering that mostly dominates um, a lot of the students on Messiah, but they both have extremely good opportunities and they're really amazing. And I'm a mechanical engineering major, as I said before, and I picked it because when I came on my visit, they have this thing called Collab and you can go overseas and like, you build a project here on Messiah's campus and then you go overseas and like see how your projects help people. So I love that. And um, if I could describe my experience at Messiah in one word, it would probably be an adventure just because um, it was so cool coming from high school, going to Messiah. And I've been on a lot of adventures when I've been on campus. So, yeah. <laughs> my name's Amanda and I'm a junior athletic training major. I play libero and I'm from Wisconsin. So the question that I'm answering is, what makes Messiah Women's Volleyball unique? And the first thing that comes to mind is the fact that we're able to use volleyball as a ministry. Um, I think that's super powerful and it's awesome how sport can bring people together. And um, we're able to, after games, we're able to pray with the teams um, and just share the gospel through that prayer. And we're also able to write note cards to each and every player on that team. And it's been really cool to just see uh, different ways in which those note cards have touched people. Um, and I think it's also evident just in the way that we interact as a team, but then also the way that the coaches interact with us as players. Um, it's very much so that they care about us as more than people, or as more than just players. They care about us as people. And if I had to pick one word to describe my experience with Messiah Women's Volleyball, it would be transformational. Hi, my name is Sarah. I am a rising junior setter on the team. My major is nutrition and dietetics and I am from Virginia. So the question I'm gonna answer for you guys is what does a typical weekend look like for us? Um, and so when we're in season in fall, it looks like volleyball. Uh, we play in tournaments almost every weekend when we're in season. And sometimes we get to stay overnight in hotel. So that just adds to the fun. Um, so yeah, we're pretty much always together, always playing, um, super fun stuff. And then out of season, it looks like on Saturdays, we pretty much study together, going to the breaches, studying there, relaxing there, going to the library. Um, if we want to do some more like hard, like core studying. Um, and then Sunday it's church with the team, lunch with the team after church, um, and then devos at night, team devotions together. So some days are my favorite day because I'm with the team so much. Um, and then, so another question I, or answer for you guys is, if we train all year long and what does it look like in the off season? So we do train all year long. Um, the fall it, when we're in season is mainly for maintaining the skills and the strength that we previously developed in the off season. So in the spring and summer, it's mainly just building strength, um, fine tuning our skills. Um, so in season, we try to lift at least two times a week. It depends on our game schedule. Um, and then spring and summer, we lift three times a week with cardio added in there, depending on what our strength and conditioning coach, KO, says. Um, so that's what that looks like. And yeah, always getting touches on a ball. Um, yeah, so yeah, thank you. If I could describe my Maasai experience with one word, it would be home. Uh, mainly because the team um, is like my family at school, um, on and off the court. Um, they pretty much know everything about me. Um, they're always there for me, always supporting me, keeping me accountable. Um, they're always loving me and I always love them. Um, and also being four hours away from my actual home here, um, it's really nice to be able to go to a place where I feel as comfortable as I do here and as welcome as I do here. So. Hi, my name is Kate Perdome. I am a junior, I'm an outside and a right side, and I'm from Phoenix, Arizona. I'm studying politics and international relations. And my question that I'm answering is, what does chapels look like at Messiah? So chapels at Messiah are required, um, but it basically boils down to one a week, and you have options of which one you want to go to. There's just a set number that you need for the semester. So we have three chapel options each week, um, a Tuesday morning, a Thursday morning, and a Tuesday night. And so chapels are 45 minutes long and they have some worship songs and just different speakers talking about 
a variety of things. I really enjoy the music at chapels. They do a good job of mixing it up, doing music from around the world. Um, and they have a lot of student choirs and groups that do the music. On Tuesday nights, it's more of a lecture style. So it's in a different different space and it's not as much like singing, that kind of thing. It's more of you really get to dive in deep um, on a topic, whether that's a social issue or a um, like a question about the Bible, things like that. Also, it's not a chapel requirement, but on Thursday nights, there's something called Powerhouse, which is a really cool opportunity. Um, students just gather for, they don't get credit, it's just an hour-long worship session, and they the building is filled with like 200 students all just worshiping God, and it is an amazing, amazing opportunity. Um, and yeah, that's what chapel looks like. And if I had to define my Messiah College experience in one word, it would definitely be relationships. Um, and that relationships covers relationships on the team, um, growth in my relationship with God, um, relationships with professors, relationship with students. And I just love being able to connect with people and hear, hear their stories, hear their different perspectives. And it really just causes growth in a way that I didn't know before I came to Messiah. So yeah, my word is definitely relationships. Hi, my name is Rachel Garrett. I'm from Virginia. I'm a first year outside hitter and I am studying elementary education and special education. So is it hard transitioning from high school to college? Uh, no, personally, it was a very um, smooth and great transition. Uh, due to preseason, I came into the school year having a great group of friends and people that I can call my family. In high school, you have seven hour days, whereas in college, you have two to three classes a day and have time in between to do homework or study or uh, do things that you need to get done. Um, a lot of times you are able to accomplish most of your homework before practices, but even if not, you still have the rest of the night to do so. Um, in college, you do have a lot more free time, but what you do in that free time is um, something that you need to plan and um, prepare for just so you won't get behind on schoolwork and studying. In practices, it is definitely something that is a step up than um, high school. You have a group of girls that are constantly trying to push both themselves and you to be better players, teammates, and um, it is definitely a very competitive environment. In the dorms, having a roommate is something that you have to get used to, especially if you've never had to sleep with a sibling before. Um, but it is totally worth it, creating that relationship with them and being vulnerable with them. And um, it is a great experience and you end up having a lifelong um, friend. If I could describe my experience at Messiah in one word, it would be accepting. My name is Haley Miller and I am from Lidditz, PA. I am a sophomore DS slash libero or a bro as we like to call them here at Messiah. Um, and I am studying biomedical engineering at Messiah College. Um, I'm going to be coming, going through a couple of different questions today, starting with, does our team travel a lot? And the answer to that would be, we generally try to do at least one overnight trip each season. And this will be somewhere that's a little farther, um, maybe like Virginia, for example. Um, and we'll spend at least one, maybe two nights in a hotel as a team, and we'll play at least you know, around three matches, maybe more. Um, and it's just a fun experience that I look forward to every year because it's a different form of team bonding that we get to do and we get to navigate the exciting and fun part of traveling and staying at a different place as a team. Um, but this trip will generally, usually, happen over um, fall break. Not always, but usually. And so we won't usually have to miss a lot of class for that trip, which is nice because then we don't have a ton of work to make up. Um, our team also every three-ish years tries to participate in a um, in a mission trip overseas. And actually, this past year, so last spring, I was able to um, attend one to Tenerife with my team, um, and it was such a cool experience. Um, we got to spread God's love. We volunteered at some schools and ran their gym classes, and we're also able to run some clinics and practices for various clubs. Um, and we also got to play in a lot of great matches, um, which is why I'm including it in the traveling section. Um, obviously, I can't say a ton about that in the short amount of time that I have today, but if you want to know more about that, that, please reach out to any person on the team, and they would love to tell you more about it. 
Um, but that trip also tends to happen over either spring break or possibly in the summer, and so we won't have to miss a lot of class for that trip either. Um, which segues me into the second part of the question that I'll be answering today is when do we have to miss class and what does that look like with our professors and stuff when we do have to miss class for volleyball? Um, and the answer is that um, our team has this really big philosophy and our coach really supports the fact that we are students first and athletes second. Um, so that looks, you know, that's going to look like we're not generally going to be expected to or even wanted to miss class for practice. Um, and that's actually a lot easier than I thought it was going to be when I was first coming into college athletics. And the reason for that is, um, one, when we're putting together our schedule, we're going to try to um, schedule our classes before 3.34 p.m. Um, because that's generally when, we'll, when our practices are going to be starting. Um, and our professors and um, department heads know that athletes, obviously there's a good portion of athletes at Messiah College and they know that our practices are generally at four and so they try and also not to schedule a ton of classes or at least try to have other options at other times for those classes. Um, but it is going to happen and as an engineering major I can tell you there are, I has, I've taken many labs and um, they're generally longer and so they do go into the afternoon and so they are going to conflict sometimes and it's just something that happens um, but it's not a huge deal. Um, it's not a big deal for us to come to practice a little late if we're getting just getting out of a class or a lab um, that maybe runs a little over our, our start practice time. Um, or if we have to leave early for a night class, you know, coach is really understanding about that and the team as a whole understands, you know, um, our academics come first. Um, the thing that we probably run into the most with having to miss class is our away matches. Um, I think the farthest one we generally have where it's one day, a one day match is probably about two-ish hours, um, but our our matches are generally 40 minutes to maybe that 70 minute-ish mark um, away. Um, and so we will have to leave early. Sometimes we leave around 3.33-ish, maybe a little early depending on how far or what traffic is going to be looking like. Um, and so sometimes it is going to conflict with our classes. Um, but again, it's usually not a huge deal. I know in my experience, my professors have been really understanding um, as long as we're being fair to them. And so um, our something our coach is really good about is encouraging us. You know, we have our schedule at the very beginning of the season. And so we're trying to give that out to all our professors in that first week of classes. So they can kind of get an idea of if we'll have to be missing classes or um, leaving a little early and maybe how often and when that's going to happen. Um, and then I also like to shoot them a quick email, maybe like a week or a week and a half in advance um, once I found out, you know, kind of exactly what time we'll be leaving. Um, and that changes obviously depending on where we're going and what time our match is. Um, but I like to remind them and then just um, politely ask, you know, what are their expectations for me to make up that class time or lab and um, you know that might be something like coming in a different day and doing it on my own it might be something like um, I can just do it outside of class I don't it'll be okay like maybe there's a video I can watch um, or maybe I'm gonna meet with my professor one-on-one -on -one. and I like to just generally go with whatever they're comfortable with and whatever they think is gonna be best moving forward um, and in my experience all my professors have been really good about it and really understanding and so it hasn't been a huge issue um, but obviously it's something that happens and it's something that I know I was a little nervous about. Um, so it's, it's a fair question. Um, but in my experience, I have not had any issues, major issues with it. But yeah, I think that's it for that. Um, I have one more question, which I think everyone is answering today. And that is, if I could describe my experience at Messiah in one word, what would that be? And this is a tough question because I could describe, um, I could say so much about Messiah and my experience here. Um, but if I had to pick one word, I think it would be growth. Um, I've learned a lot over these past two years. Something I love about Messiah is its community, and that's actually one of the reasons I chose Messiah. Um, and it's just, um, it's r really been a cool experience um, to be in a community where there's a lot of people with a similar base belief system. That doesn't mean that we all have the same, exact same um, ideas and beliefs about those um, 
And it's actually been really um, a growing experience for me to listen to all those different perspectives um, on it and also for me to consider them. And it's really allowed me to make my faith my own, which is something I will always be grateful for. Um, and so at Messiah, I've, I've not only grown as a student and an athlete, a teammate and a friend, but also in my faith and um, as a believer in Christ. And so, yes, it's been challenging. And yes, sometimes that's more difficult than we want it to be. But in hindsight, I can see how rewarding it is. And I'm so thankful um, and so grateful for that opportunity that Messiah has kind of presented to me. And I look forward to making the most of that growing um, community aspect in these next two years. Um, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video today. I hope that my responses to these questions were helpful in some way, whether I let you um, know a little bit more about college athletics or Messiah athletics or even the Messiah women's volleyball team specifically. Um, but thank you so much.